historic return of the band The Who to Cincinnati. They haven't played here since 1979. That's when 11 people died trying to get into their concert at what was then called Riverfront Coliseum. When the band plays at TQL Stadium Sunday, they say it's to heal and to unite with the community. So they have a lot of surprises planned, including bringing on stage some of their youngest fans to perform with them. Somewhere on Finneytown High School's campus, a select group of kids are preparing for the performance of their young lives. I definitely am going to be nervous. Anna Tenenfeld is one of 10 Finneytown students who will be on stage Sunday with The Who to sing or play with them, which may make you wonder, had they ever heard of The Who before this? And I grew up listening to like 80s and 70s and 60s, and I actually have a Who record on vinyl. Only teenage wasteland. Dakota Brooks had just learned about the band in school. We had just talked about the Who and the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. And then a day later, here I am, you guys are gonna sing with The Who. Don't cry. But Claire Adams, the youngest in the bunch was... So confused, cause I had no idea who The Who was. But then I actually like heard the songs and like did the research and stuff. And I was like, okay, this is like a big, like once in a lifetime opportunity. Let's do it. They were selected in part because they're students at Finneytown, where three of the 11 people who died in 1979 were from. Now, these kids really like to perform, but being on stage with rock legends in front of a crowd of thousands, well, it's drummed up emotions from excitement to fear. And then the drums are actually here. Initially, probably going to freak out a little bit, and then music's going to start, and I'm just going to go with it from there. Yeah, I'm, like, super ready to just, like, do it, you know for everybody else. I have no doubt it's gonna be emotional. So they'll take it one note at a time and hope their song brings a little happiness and healing to their community. Teenage wasteland, only teenage wasteland. <laughs> so we should mention that Anna Tenenfeld, who you saw in that story, is the recipient of a scholarship in the name of one of the 11 who died trying to get into that concert back in 1979. The proceeds from the Who's concert on Sunday will fund scholarships for Cincinnati area kids who plan to study the arts and tickets are still available.